Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial about how to navigate, sign up, into and use YouTube. And how you sign up is at the very top right hand corner, there's going to be a sign in. Now obviously if you are already signed up for YouTube, you can just simply sign in here. And in this instance, for the purpose of training, you were not signed into YouTube, so I am going to teach you how to sign up for YouTube. The first thing you want to do is come up with an Google email. You want to come up with an email address that something you can remember that you can use for your Google, all your Google accounts, including Hangouts, which allows you to use Zoom in Google and various other issues. You can also use the email for your personal businesses and such. So I'm going to build an insert media that's what I'm doing most of the time co company and what we want to do is we want to create an account so you're going to click in this square you're going to hover over the blue create account to create an email account and this one we're going to do for myself. So in order to properly use YouTube, you're going to create an account. This is my account I'm creating. Uh, you want to just enter the username. They will add send you. You want to create a strong password. If you're using a Mac, it would automatically suggest a password for you. I suggest you get a piece of paper and write down your email address. And if you hear this rustling, that's me getting a piece of paper in order to write down the email address and password. That way, if I lose it or misplace it, in my mind, I have it somewhere physically. <clears throat> and then you're going to add that password. and confirm it by retyping it. You want to make sure that your password has a number, a capital letter, and a special character like a dollar sign, an exclamation point, or a question mark. So once you become a Google member, they're going to ask for a phone number. Now, the phone number is optional, <clears throat> but if you want to verify your account, you might need it. For the purposes of this video, I'm not adding a phone number. A recovery email address um, is also optional, and that's if you want to recover your email. I'm going to enter my birthday. Gender, you can, if you do not decide to align with male or female, you can prefer rather not say or add a custom one. And they'll give you a full explanation as why they ask. And they, you just have to go through all the, the terms and conditions. And once you're done, you can have an email to you if you wish, but you just simply choose that you agree. Uh, they're going to use metrics to basically advertise to you. And that's the, the whole basis of this purpose for advertising needs. That's how Google has so many uh, advertisers because so many people are in need of the Gmail. So now that your Gmail is created, you can create your, you can sign into your YouTube. And of course, you know, you can have a video meeting as if you would zoom in Google the same way. So now let's go over to YouTube. Now that our email address is created, we can now sign in. <coughs> And it's also helpful to create an email address before you go to YouTube. That way, especially Gmail, that way you can automatically sign in and not have any issues uh, during your first sign up. So now that uh, the computer has already recognized my email account since it was open, it is automatically signed into YouTube. So here we are in YouTube. 
now you're going to say, well, I want to see the videos. So if you want to see the videos that your favorite artist or your church or musicians or even your favorite comedians are doing, you want to make sure to subscribe to them. So for the sake of this email, I'm going to choose the ABC news. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to choose the ABC news company. This is a programmer. I'm going to mute them because they always have advertisements first. <clears throat> now over here, you'll see that there are a lot of other available videos. This is basically advertising. People pay to have these positions, especially on these bigger videos. As you can see, uh, they've had 500,000 views. This is a news channel, so they are paying. So there's your ad. And you can skip it once this little countdown comes down and then says skip ad. You can skip the ad and go right into the news. In the US by oh, unfortunately, the news is pretty terrible. I'm going to just mute it. If Americans don't wear masks, I'm going to just some... mute that. <clears throat> so the, on your email, when you get uh, videos, when you subscribe to someone, you're going to get emails telling you that they uploaded a new video. That helps the subscriber um, alert people. And you can do that by when you subscribe to the channel. There's a bell right next to the subscription once you subscribe to the channel and that bell will allow alerts. You ring all as if you were doing this to your favorite church or your favorite artist like to be seen.com subtle hint. And you can make sure that you are always alerted to new videos. They're going to offer you a subscription and this is, you can watch the videos without ads. It can add up with so many different streaming services available these days. So I always say skip trial because the ads do support the artists, churches, and the various um, folks that are posting to YouTube. So you have to think about the metrics that are based in this system. Every 500,000 views uh, generates a a dollar amount for the company, church, or independent artist like myself. And only when you hit these numbers do you really pull in this kind of uh, revenue from the ads. So it's always good to subscribe and ensure that you're watching the video. So I'm going to get into some of the metrics of YouTube. Um, what we're going to do first is I'm going to turn off my air conditioning because that is making a lot of noise. Sorry. All right, so what we're gonna do first and get into the various options that are available on YouTube. The first thing you wanna learn is the search bar because if you're looking for one of the videos so you can chat, you can just search in here and type in what you wanna look and they will generate reports and you just mouse over one of the generated available choices I'm going to go with NBC Live because the first thing I want to teach you is the Super Chat. So we're going to click on the NBC Live video. And of course, the chat is distributed. But normally what happens is on a Super Chat, in this top right corner underneath your name, you will have an option to chat with folks. And kind of think of it as like a little opportunity to not only talk with the creators or your church or your artists, but as an option to talk with the people that are watching the video. It's in this space that you can actually have real time live communication with your friends, your churchgoers, your, your, your parish friends and your brothers and sisters in Christ and your artists that you're supporting. So you wanna make sure if there's a live chat available, which there usually are, you can talk to everybody in the live chat and keep up to date. So the system metrics, you remember you want to skip ads if you just want to get right into the meat and potatoes. Your video plays live and you can unmute by clicking unmute or mute by clicking mute. I'm going to leave this muted because I want to 
go through all the various options that we have available. You can pause the video and even if it's live, after a while it'll come back and it'll just slowly catch up. You can skip forward if you wish to, to go to another video. If you notice that the video's quality is not that great, you wanna go over to the settings bar and you wanna click on that settings bar to change the quality. So there on 1080p, the last option is the quality of the video. So you just wanna click on this little arrow and it'll allow you to choose the different qualities. Now, most of the time, a lot of creators use 720p. It looks great. It's as close to HD as possible, but it also makes the videos smaller and easier to upload and upload faster. So a lot of artists will just go with 720 and a lot of people will stay there. A lot of news networks and companies that have the availability for very expensive production equipment, they'll be shooting in 1080p. Uh, very rarely you'll see 4K because that's quite expensive and quite timely to edit videos and publish them. So there's your quality. So if you ever notice that it's gotten a little grainy, a little choppy, or it's moving a little pixelated, you just want to go to that area and ensure that your quality is, is at par that your computer can handle. Your playback speed, if you notice that it's off, you want to go here and click normal. Some people speak slowly, so they add a little faster speed. And some people speak fast, and they'll slow it down so you can hear it. Uh, at the pace that it's everyone else is used to. That's all depends on your perspective. Um, annotations are the little pop-ups like this nightly news or any notes that the creator leaves or the church or anything like that. You can actually turn those off if you wish by simply clicking annotations on or off. Same thing with autoplay and what autoplay is is once this live stream is finished, do you wanna go and then follow the rest of the nightly news that's available? or your favorite church pastor's next sermon or previous sermon, it'll just automatically play all of them. If you happen to walk away and the, the sermon's over, this is a good way to catch up with all the other sermons. Or if your favorite artist walked away and their live stream ended, you can catch up with all your favorite artists, other videos. Subtitles, if you are um, unsure of what's going on and can't understand whoever's speaking, you can click subtitles, it's uh, automatically English and it's still being worked on, so it's not the greatest. So those are your major settings. These are the mini player, this will make it smaller and it'll pop out of the screen. And if you wanna return it, you can just click on expand and it'll make the video larger. And you can also have a large player if you don't wanna see all of these things. You can just simply click on the theater mode and that'll allow you to see the sermon the artist or news company in a very large screen, almost like a television. This is especially great if you're watching, if you can tether your computer to your television. So your computers can connect to your TV and you can watch it as if it was nightly news live. So, or a church live or your favorite artist live. And if you don't like that mode, you can click it back and it'll go back to the default view. Now, the next thing are all of these options here. So these are important if you want to help spread the word and increase the views and increase the position of the church artist or company, you want to give it a thumbs up, a like. These parameters on YouTube are helping artists, companies, and churches get views and have an easier way of being noticed. So if you church, type in church, it will pop up to your church because your church has a lot of views and it's one of the most liked. Uh, usually this is actually considered a low number. There's 2000 people watching right now. All is considered about average. Most churches that I've seen, they're in the like 15s to 20s, the low teens to high 20s. Um, the more people that watch, the higher it is that they will be found on a search. And that's an analytic algorithm, algorithm. And the algorithm is how people will find the churches if they land on the homepage based off of their preferences. And it's a little bit more, but it's very important basically that you click like on any of the videos that you're watching that you're supporting. 
and that is to help them grow. So please be sure to do that. Our next button is the thumbs down. Let's say by mistake, you walked off all the videos that you wanted to see uh, from your favorite artist, church, or company have passed, and then uh, now all of a sudden you're watching something that's far out of what you like. It's totally disgusting. You don't like it. You can thumbs down. If you thumbs down, it'll have the reverse but same effect. It will push that video up, even though it's got thumbs down, and it'll place them higher in the algorithm. But if you thumbs down, it's more likely that YouTube will eventually pull the video because it has too many thumbs downs. You can share the video and that's the next key here on this little tab and you just simply click share and it'll give you various ways to share it. You'll have all of your favorite social medias. You can click on any of those or you can email it and that it will automatically generate an email for you or take you to your inbox. You can say, hey, I really like this artist company or church service. I really want you to see it. It'll generate that or you can just click copy and go into your email. It'll automatically be in your clipboard. And then when you get to your email or Facebook messenger, you can simply paste it there um, and share it with your friends and family. That's very important. Flag is a report. And that's if you didn't like the video, similar to the thumbs down, you can take action because it's offended you or something like that and you can report it and you'll have to fill out a lot of information. So I don't suggest it. And then if you do not to speak English and you speak another language, you can have a translation focus here. You can click on these three dots and they can change to any other language that's available in Google translate. So I'm just a reminder, it's only languages available in Google translate. So it's important that you do select, um, languages based off their translation. So that's it for the first information. I have showed you how to search. I've showed you how to manage these icons, how important it is to like, subscribe and share, translate, caption, and various other ways to use YouTube basically. What I'm now gonna show you is your homepage. So I don't have a channel of my own because you're a user, you don't need to. You can, um, I just want to go through these for you. These are the more info of the settings. You can have a dark theme in case it's too bright. You can switch to a darker background. So that might be something you're interested in. You can click on by clicking the dark theme and clicking for that option to be on. You see, it has a nice dark page. All the text is white. It basically inverts the view of the YouTube. This is gonna help your eyes a lot. So I always recommend people try that out if they're having a hard time with all the brightness. Um, you can create a channel and start paying people for paid memberships, but that's not what we're gonna get into today. We can then go, these are the other apps. If you wanna just uh, create from YouTube television you could switch to the YouTube TV account if you're paying for it. Listen to YouTube music if you're paying for that. But these are paid. I don't suggest using them unless you have it like that. Next thing I want to show you is chronological videos. So let's say your favorite artist, church, or company has a lot of other videos and you want to watch them. So now we're going to go into the page specific of the YouTube creator, artist, or company, or church. What you wanna do is in case you wanna see other videos, as, as you'll see on their landing page, these are who they are connected to. You'll see that here. These are just playlists that they set up for a normal user to come and view. And if you wanted to see the whole list of videos they have, you go over here to these icons. This will give you information about the company, church, or artist. It'll tell you how many views there are, the full about of the artist and other links that they have to their websites and various other social medias. This will give you information about the channel and all the channels that they are connected to. This one is the community. The community is basically the things that they post, sort of like Facebook, when they want to share stories and things that uh, to pull you into 
other views and other videos that they're playing. If they have playlists, you click the playlist and that'll give you anything for this, the coronavirus news, everything's here. Um, current affairs are here now, latest news, nightly news for the news channel. This could be all your church music or all your artist music or all your artist poetry or all your artist videos is comedy, so on and so forth. And when you get to videos, videos will basically put everything in chronological order. And what I mean by chronological order is it plays, it showcases all the videos by upload date and time. So this one got put up two hours ago, 14 hours ago, so on and so forth. And as you go further down, it'll tell you when this one got put up a day ago, so the news posts constantly. So let's go with something a little bit further and you'll see all the videos. You just keep scrolling down and you'll see everything that the artist company and newscaster placed. So let's go to this one. If we'll click on this one and then you'll see that every time someone or a company, church or artist posts on YouTube, everything is dated. You just have to look right underneath the title and there's the date. That'll tell you when it was posted, how long ago, and give you for more information, the about here. If you click on right underneath, you can read more about this particular video and some other links, helpful links to support the artist news company or church. You're maybe seeing these thumbs up, thumbs down. This is so that if you're running into an ad that you don't want to see, you can get rid of it by clicking thumbs down. And after doing that for a while, you can completely stop those particular ads. So they're kind of geared toward what you're into or like this ad, and then they'll put up more ads based off your interaction. If you wanted to save the video on your own playlist, you can click save. And then right now, because this is a new channel, you can only watch later. And that's blocked off. That's what this lock is. It means that it's only available to you. No one else can see it. Just click the X to get out of there. Same thing you can, if you'll notice that these sometimes shift around once you're watching a video, you can read the transcript. Sometimes if the video is older, you can't do that on live. Um, you can still translate or report. That doesn't change. These options are only available to videos that have already been posted. So now comments. The comment section is where everybody has their option to give an opinion on the video itself or for you to support your artist company or church. You can thumbs up, thumbs down or reply. Let's say you disagree with somebody's comments. You can thumbs down and reply to them and say, hey, I don't like what you said, for instance. Or thumbs up, move on and say, yeah, that was great. I totally agree with you. Once you reply, you click reply, and then it'll take you to um, open up your channel. So let's just create channel. It's really easy, and it'll take you back to your main page. And you just simply go back with the back button to what you were watching previously. Sometimes you have to hit it two or three times to get there. It's a brand new video. So when you want to comment, here we go, it takes a while to load sometimes. So when you want to comment, you click reply. And then simply reply here. Then you click the reply key and your reply will be posted. That's it. You can either thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm not going to do either. But this is the initial overview of YouTube. I just want you to remember that it's important to subscribe and ring that bell so that you are notified every time your favorite artist, church, or news or company posts a new video. The three bars at the top on the left side of the page are simply your home page. 
when you click on the home page, this, this will take you to basically the things that you have subscribed to. They will show up first and I give you automatic recommendations. And that's what's going to show up there. Your subscriptions, when you subscribe to something, those will show up under the subscription bars. If you want to see all the videos that you've liked, you can click here and it'll take you to all the liked videos. All the videos that you've put in that watch later file, that'll be here. The videos that you've posted will remain here. Everything that you've seen will be here. Your personal library will be here. And if you just want to see what's trending, you can click trending and see what everybody else is watching. That's what's trending. So that's really irrelevant. YouTube premium is if you're paying for it. If you pay for it, you can watch movies and shows, play games, direct live videos. Um, they have teaching and fashion and beauty. And these are the settings that we've gone over already, just at another, another plane. So that is the basis of YouTube. I hope you found that uplifting and educational. <laughs>